Hi YouTubers, my name is Kevin and you're watching The Royal We. In this message, I wanna talk with those of you who are struggling to completely move on and find 100% freedom from a narcissistically abusive relationship. Now maybe you've gone no contact from the toxic narcissist, however, this may not be enough. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you might still be connected through a web of other people, places, and things that are in connection to the toxic abusive narcissist that are keeping you stuck without even knowing it. Now, right away, I wanna start off by saying this. If you have children with a toxic abusive narcissist, we are excluding children from this topic. The reason is, is because children are your responsibility. So what we are referring to in this message about things people, places, and things outside the narcissist, we're referring to things that you have no responsibility for. They are not your responsibility. They are nothing more than some form of an emotional attachment. We're gonna talk about that right here in this message because this might be keeping you from experiencing 100% freedom, which is what you need to, to aim for coming out of a toxic, abusive relationship with a narcissist. Now, the best way I can illustrate this for you is to give you a visualization of a web, a spider's web. Now, spider's webs can be absolutely huge. I have seen some giant ones here out in the Midwest that extend from one tree to the other tree and you don't always even see the spider web, and this is what makes it so dangerous, is that you don't see the spider web until you're already stuck in the spider's web, and this is what you need to understand about messing around with people, places, and things that are attached to the abusive narcissist. Now, first of all, what are we talking about when we talk about people, places, and things attached to the narcissist? We're talking about friends, mutual friends, who you've met with the narcissist, perhaps, their family members or their cousins or siblings who you really get along with, or perhaps in any, any person who knows the narcissist, even at work, and you really get along with these people, but they also get along with the narcissist. These are people who are direct connection. How about places? What kinds of places are we talking about here? Well, how about the gym, your favorite gym that you met the narcissist at? right? Maybe a certain club that you know the toxic person uh, frequents, okay? These are places that you could find other places like them, but these are places that will also keep you stuck because as you go to these places, you're mentally and emotionally being drawn backwards instead of forwards, right? And what about things? What kinds of things are we talking about? Memorabilia. How many of you like to hang on to moments of your life that you've experienced. You know, a baseball game ticket here, an old dirty ball cap here. Who cares that it, it belonged to the narcissist? You know, it's, it's, it's memorabilia, right? Certain glasses that you use together. Certain things, the old dirty shirt, dirty socks, whatever you're into. I'm not judging. I'm just saying there could be a tie there that you're not aware of. So now let's talk about the, the web. I wanna jump back to the topic of the web here and talk about the functionality of the web. Most people think of the web as, as the spider being the most dangerous part of it and ultimately it's the spider that does do the, mo the damage by eating. However, the web in itself is extremely dangerous. The web is the most dangerous part, I would say, because it is what catches a flying insect. And the most dangerous part about the web is that it's not visible. It's not visible to insects. They don't know they're in the web until it's too late and they're in it and they're stuck. They're just flying along, right? Doing their thing. And then boom, all of a sudden they're in something. And they're like, uh-oh, well, I, I, can't, I can't move my wing. My wing is not going, right? Oh, there's my leg. My leg is stuck. What's going on? And before you know it, they're kind of wiggling around and they're, they're stuck. They're completely stuck. This is how it is when you are in a web of people, places, and things surrounding the abusive narcissist. You don't realize that you're stuck, but you're rolling around and bouncing around these different things. And sure enough, you're stuck. You're like, why am I not experiencing 100% freedom? Why am I having a hard time moving on with my life? And it's because you're stuck in a web. 
You have not been attacked by the spider for some time, but you are definitely in a web that links down to the spider. So that's the first functionality of the web is that it's very sticky. And when you are involved with these people, you could become stuck to these people, stuck to these places, and stuck to these things. And you do not want to be stuck to anything on your healing journey from toxic narcissistic abuse. You want 100% freedom. You've got to find freedom. You have to put all these things, these people, these places, these things have to take the back seat as you drive forward. You've got to get up out of this web. You've got to manage to pull yourself out of that stickiness. It is possible, by the way, for some bugs to escape a web. They have done it and they get up out of there. Woo. Wow. Close call, right? So you two need to wiggle yourself out of the emotional and mental stickiness that has you trapped in this one particular web. So that's the first functionality of the web is that it is super sticky and it's not visible. So that makes it extremely dangerous, more dangerous than the spider. Now there's one more uh, principle I want to share with you from a web perspective. And that is that it acts like a radar for guess who? The narcissist. I mean the spider. I mean the narcissist, right? It's a radar. At any spot that some something hits that web, that spider is like on it. I know what's up there. All right. Something it's getting messages. Each point of the web sends a message down to the spider and the spider can send messages right back up to that point. Uh, I got you, right? It's a radar. Now, this is super important for you to understand. You're trying to get 100% free from toxic narcissistic abuse. You don't want to be anywhere on their radar. You don't want any messages being sent to the toxic abusive narcissist, period. Nor do you want any messages from the narcissist. You don't want them to know who you're seeing and hanging out with and where you're going and what you're doing and where you're working and where you're living. You don't want them to know that. And likewise, you do not want to know who they're hanging out with and where they're going and what they're doing. You don't want to know. You want to be completely off their radar during your healing process. This is of the utmost importance. You are not going to heal. You're not going to find 100% freedom if you are still paying attention to what they're up to and they have access to see what you're up to. You're on their radar, baby, and it's time to get off their radar completely. Now then, a lot of you might be saying, Kevin, I get all this, but listen, I get along with these people who are attached to the narcissist and I don't want to hurt them. Won't it hurt them? And hear me out. Hear me out. It might hurt them. It might. However, these are people who you're not responsible for. You're not responsible for their hurt, but guess who's hurt you are responsible for? Yours. That's right. You are responsible for your hurt. Let's not live a life sacrificing your true needs and desires and your health simply because we're afraid or you're afraid to hurt somebody else. Is that not what you did in the abusive relationship with a toxic narcissist? You gave it yourself afraid to hurt them by leaving the situation sooner. We need to stop living this way. All right. Your health is more important. And by the way, if they really are good friends to you, and you would be able to explain to them, listen, I'm just trying to move on with my life, they would understand. And by the way, when we're talking about separating yourself from this web, I'm not talking about you being mean and cold and jerky and narcissistic yourself and putting them down, right? We're talking about just a, a getaway, a clean getaway, a, a, a stopping of your engaging Maybe you stop calling is calling them so much. Maybe you don't respond to all their text messages. You're simply making it look like you are moving on with your life and you are busy. That's the point of it. This gets you off of their radar. This gets you off the narcissist radar. All right. Listen, I know this is a difficult message, but I've been there myself. And if you're truly stuck, I hope that you will pay attention to the words and the principle that I outlined for you. And listen, I want to be a part of your healing journey coming out of toxic abuse. Visit www.jointheroyalwe.com where you can schedule a one-on-one appointment with me. We could have a telephone consultation, a FaceTime consultation, or a text message consultation. Again, it's www.jointheroyalwe.com. Also, every Monday night at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time is the Royal We 
live chat. This is the community that comes together. We an ask questions, answer questions. You can call in for free so long as you understand that it is live. Uh, in addition to that, every Saturday morning is the all new Royal We Fellowship. This is brand new. It's an in-depth look into the ancient literature of the Bible, but it's unlike any other Bible study you've ever been a part of because we are looking at it from the understanding of a toxic and narcissistic world that we live in. So again, you can find the links to these channels down below in the description box right under this video. So head on down there and find these links and we'll be back with more videos right here on the Royal We.